Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial and then in this tutorial we'll be going over a quick little fun tutorial on how to make radial designs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this little call out bubble. See like, like this. And I'm going to adjust it a little bit so it's like that. And that should be good. I'm going to then line it up in the center of the page um, and you can come up here to this little crosshair and this changes the rotation point. I'm going to drag it to the corner. It's usually, you can use a lot of shapes for this. You can sort of play around, but it's always best to put the rotation point in the corner. So I'm then going to hit Command J. Now Command J duplicates it and du duplicates the whole action. So if you turn it and hit Command J, it will turn it the same amount every time. So I'm going to come down here to the rotation, hit 20 degrees, and then I'm going to hit Command J as this shape sort of walks around into a circle and completes itself. So then I can select everything and you can kind of see how this sort of design plays out actually with all of these lines of intersection. If we then sort of bring the opacity down, it creates a really cool effect um, for where everything sort of overlaps. I can then take this shape and turn it into a group and now this whole shape is a group now it's all one shape so if you want you can then select create a gradient and sort of play around with what you want so if I set one point like sort of pink and another point sort of blue, we can kind of get the affinity colors. Like so This is the affinity color suite. If you're not content with this, you can also hit Command J again, and it will kind of intensify that. And if you always, you know, you can play around with the opacity on the second level as well. And you can even play around with how they blend. So that, that effect's kind of cool. Sort of hard mix. Uh, contrast, negate kind of looks cool. There's all these different effects you can play around with. That one kind of looks a, a little different. So these are kind of uh, how you do radial effects in Affinity Designer. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer tutorials. And thanks for watching.